In Calgary's cultural landscape, tradition and change intertwine, blending the spirit of the Wild West with a contemporary flair. Its cultural tapestry echoes the past while embracing the pulse of the present. Calgary sits on the western end of the Great Plains, around 80 kilometers east of the Canadian Rockies, 299 kilometers south of Edmonton, and around 240 kilometers north of the Canadian United States border. Calgary is home to a population closing in on 1.5 million people, making it the third largest city and fifth largest metropolitan area in Canada. It offers a high standard of living with a strong emphasis on outdoor activities, arts and culture, and entrepreneurial opportunities. It is no wonder that it has the largest number of millionaires per capita of any major Canadian city. And in 2022, Calgary was ranked alongside Zurich as the third most livable city in the world, ranking first in Canada and in North America. Thousands of years ago, the land that is now known as Calgary was home to the indigenous peoples, including the Blackfoot, Stony Nakoda, and Tsutina nations. These communities relied on hunting, gathering, and trading for their livelihoods before the European settlers arrived in the late 19th century. Calgary got its name from the Calgary Castle on the Isle of Mull in Scotland. The commissioner of the Northwest Mounted Police used to visit the castle, and the Scottish name Calgary is believed to come from the Old Norse words called and gart, which mean cold and garden. Speaking of the cold, the climate in Calgary is characterized as a humid continental with distinct seasons. Summers are generally warm with average temperatures ranging from 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, that is 68 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Winters are cold and snowy with average temperatures ranging from minus 10 to minus 20, 14 to minus four degrees Fahrenheit. Calgary experiences low humidity throughout the year and the region receives a moderate amount of precipitation, mainly in the form of snowfall during the winter months. The city also enjoys abundant sunshine, so I wouldn't describe Calgary as a particularly cold place. The Canadian Pacific Railway chose Calgary as a key centre for its transcontinental train in 1833. The railway linked Calgary to central and eastern Canada and to Vancouver on the west coast. Calgary went from a sleepy frontier village to a thriving hub of ranching and agriculture. Originally, the railway route was not planned to pass near Calgary. Those concerned with the defense of the young nation proposed a route near Edmonton, since it was much further from the border with their savage invading neighbors. Calgary underwent rapid economic expansion, fueled by the discovery of significant oil reserves in 1914 and the subsequent development of the energy sector. When pipelines were constructed and refineries sprouted up, attracting many energy companies to the area. With the oil industry becoming the lifeblood of the city, job opportunities multiplied and the population surged, employment opportunities, new capital, and expanded city infrastructure were all made possible thanks to the boom. As a result, Calgary's skyline soon became dotted with towering office buildings, leading to the city's rise as a hub for wealth and car ownership. And by 1967, Calgary had the highest number of millionaires in Canada and boasted the highest per capita car ownership in the world. But in the 1980s, the city faced significant challenges, particularly during the market crash. Plummeting oil prices resulted in widespread economic uncertainty, leading to layoffs and financial struggles. Decreasing its dependency on oil and diversifying its economy became its survival strategy as the city shifted its focus on finance, technology, tourism and transportation. Even as the city of Calgary grew and diversified, the oil industry remained an important part of the city's overall economic makeup. A large number of significant oil and gas corporations maintained their headquarters and primary operations in the city. Calgary is known for the Calgary Stampede, which is a world-famous rodeo and fair. It is emblematic of the city's long-standing commitment to its western roots. But in recent years, several groups in Calgary have expressed a wish to shed the city's cowboy image. With the rapid population increase and the resulting flood of individuals from other cultural origins. Another perspective stresses the importance of changing to reflect a more progressive and modern character. Despite its historical and cultural significance, 
Calgary's cowboy image has been criticised for being outdated. It's an ongoing conversation about keeping traditions or being open to new things in a changing world. Calgary Stampede is a 10-day fair, reminiscent of the Texas Rodeo, celebrated every year in July. The event includes activities such as parades, rodeo competitions, where daring and talented cowboys do real cowboy stunts, chuck wagon racing, where thoroughbred horses outrace each other, and parade and grandstand shows, where performers showcase country and folk music traditions of the American West. It was started in 1912 by prominent rancher and businessman Guy Weddick, who was also a former Wyoming cowboy. The stampede quickly gained popularity. Drawing participants and spectators from across North America, the festival has deep roots in Canadian history and its origin may be traced back to the early days of the Canadian West. Since the Calgary Stampede's start in 1912, the city has been known as a Western tourist destination and earning Calgary the nickname Stampede City. In the minds of many, the city's history and culture will always be intrinsically linked to the image of the lone rugged cowboy riding through the open plains. So is it time to take off the leather boots? In recent years, the city of Calgary has begun a series of rebranding attempts to change its image and draw a more diverse range of residents and visitors. As part of its rebranding, the city emphasized its thriving arts and culture scene, its role as a center for innovation, and its standing as an entrepreneurial hotspot. The goal is to distance itself from the stereotypes connected with its cowboy heritage and promote itself as a progressive metropolis. Proponents of rebranding argue that Calgary can only survive by adopting a more varied identity. They think that getting rid of the cowboy stereotype will make the city more inclusive and appealing to a wider spectrum of businesses, workers and tourists. On the other hand, Calgarians do not share this opinion. They argue that the cowboy tradition should be maintained, since it is an important part of the city's history. They think the cowboy image serves as a unique selling point bringing in visitors from all over the globe. Keeping this history intact may be a powerful symbol of the city's commitment to its own growth and development. Change is happening one way or another. The Stampede aims to balance tradition with innovation, allowing marginalized groups to shine by giving them a voice So this is Calgary, a vibrant contemporary metropolis with an economy that is comprised of a wide range of businesses and the city's population is steadily increasing as more people move there to take advantage of the commercial prospects and great quality of life. Despite maintaining its western past and cowboy character, Calgary has evolved from a little railway outpost into a bustling metropolitan hub which displays the city's resilience, innovation and entrepreneurial spirits. Next, you may be interested in watching my video on Vancouver. Click right here. And this is my Patreon map. Everyone on this map is a legend and a direct supporter of the show. Thank you guys. Geoperspective, out.